Friday games. I'm not. I'm just gonna randomly choose them. Go along. Uh, so there's one I saw actually. I really wanted to play. It's like um. It was some kind of space game, but it looked awesome. That one. This is the one. I just want to try and play these guys' game if it's done yet. Yeah. Cosmic Escape 1999. Sorry, this looks really cool. It's been rated 26 times. It's been related quite a lot. So let's play it. On Windows, I've used Go. Cool. That's something I've looked at, but not actually used it. So I want the controls. Cool. This looks really, really cool. So I'm gonna download it. And I want to follow these guys now because it looks really interesting stuff. This looks pretty cool. So this is Cosmic Escape 1999. It's like a spaceship of some sort. And you have to... The solar system you're visiting is starting to collapse. Everything is expanding and you have to escape as fast as you can. Be quick, space is running out of space. So it looks like it's following the theme pretty well, actually. The game is... I mean, I, I thought... This, when I first saw this, this looked like one of the most promising ones. The game is a little freebie space simulator where fleeing is the only option. It's orange you for the uh, Asus installed. So to install that now. It should only take a few seconds, it usually does. Only take a bit. Ah! Um, Load and die folder. Hopefully this is going to work with any problems. Oh, my antivirus is just saying protecting your PC again. Ah, nice. That's kind of weirdly pixelated, but cool. So, chocolate end dive production. I don't know if it's supposed to be that pixelated. It's kind of... I don't know how I feel about that. Universe is collapsing. It's a pretty cool sound effect. Uh, I think it would actually look a lot 
I don't know if it's a quality thing, I can modify it or something, but I kind of feel like it would be better if it was just more, more sharper, because it, look, it looks pretty nice, but uh, it's just a uh, I don't know if that's been done on purpose or not. Uh, 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 I'm sure this music must be running around the generators. It feels almost like it's generative. Oh, it seems to be. This is a cool idea, though. It's obviously kind of procedural, I guess. I don't know how long it can go on for. About for ah ah. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well though, so far. You have to be quite careful. Not too. Oh, have I done it? Come on, I've done it now. Yes. Nice, nice effect at the end, actually. That was cool. Uh, I should beat the game. I was quite happy with that. I don't forgot to do that because I was doing quite rubbish at first. <laughs> that was good. So I'm just going to rate that game now because that, that was um, that was a good start. See for games to play. Is uh, if, if any any criticism, anything I'd have criticism I'd have, I suppose is. Uh, all this kind of this pixelate, highly pixelated look, which I'm not sure if it's intentional or not. But um, I mean, it's got a certain aesthetic to it, but I don't know if it. Yeah, I think it would actually be enhanced if it was sharp. To be honest, right. um, the actual game itself is quite fun. It's fast-paced. It fits the theme really well. It's probably one of the best I've seen for um, working to the theme of running out of space. That's good. So yeah, I'm just gonna rate that now. It's one of the, but I'm gonna rate it very highly for stream because it fits it very well. It's fun. The only, like I said, I think the only area I'd really have any. I just quite like the audio as generative. There's no use. Sorry, if you wish. Escape. Final more games now. Let's look for something interesting. That looks quite cool. Kessler problem. A lot of people have gone with um, space themes, which makes sense as it's running out of space. <laughs> <coughs> Let's have a look and see what this is. Earth's orbit is filling up, some might say we're literally running out of space. <laughs> so there's what satellites. Cool, that sounds pretty cool. Left click. Indie. Okay, so we go to this. The Kessler problem. I am poor. I would usually, I do like donating, but it's 
pretty poor at the minute. It's just done already. So let's see more about this. Trailer. Oh, it's done again. Oh wow, it's nice graphically. This looks quite a creative game. Oh nice. It looks like it's going to be really fun. Really good graphically, anyway. Well, do you see what you made it with? What they made it with? So we're just about to play the Kessler problem. Uh, I don't know if I've got many viewers at this time, I guess it's quite early in the morning. If you are viewing and have any thoughts, just leave it in the chat, I guess. Malware in it, shut up. Thanks. <laughs> okay, hold on, this is a bit of music. Um, so you have to play AD, the change in the direction, see the sunlight, left click and grab.
Ooh, that was close. I love this game, it's just cool. I like, I mean, I like the theme, it's, it's, I mean, considering this is made in what, two or three days, it's really well made as well. It's, I mean, if someone, I mean, it, it kind of it works as a, just a game in itself. Because obviously, obviously a lot of the time with jams, you can end up with games that feel like um, prototypes or like a in progress. Thing, whereas this feels like a finished game, like it's just it is what it is. Oh, look at that, that's nice. Ah, this is a nice. I mean, this is it's kind of got the feeling I, want, I really want to kind of just keep on playing it. Um, I want to crack it, I suppose, which is good. It's enjoyable. Not especially with the music as well, the ambient, almost briny, you know, music for airports kind of sound. So, where next? Just have to watch out for there's a bit of space there. Should be right there. Kind of just have to think, it's good as well because you have to really engage your spatial thinking and reasoning, I suppose, on this. This is, uh, this is good as an educational. Explicitly educational, but it's ah, it's a good one for your spatial, old spatial reasoning kind of thing. <laughs> so this is the I'm playing the Kessler problem. I'm going to keep on playing this for a long because I want to try and get Bob Nine. See if we beat that score. So my previous best is getting nine satellites up there, which isn't good enough. It's like the lower end tier according to the. That was rubbish. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay. Shoot that down. I think generally I want to be crisscrossing but not too much of this. I'm just gonna try and do this as fast. Because I'd like a nuclear. I really like the execution of this game. I think it's probably the best 
um, implementation of the theme I've seen so far, it completely matches the running out of space. That's the very... Oh, oh. We've got 10 then at least. So I'm number 16. <laughs> Really, the part the particle effects here good. The graphics are actually really nice. But, uh, it's just the earth is You can, I suppose things you can add on is different physics, like so that satellites go faster, or just um, un unconventional physics systems. I suppose you could add on so that I don't know, say like um, just changes it. Let's see what different modes. But that's about all I could add, think that you could add on to this really, because it just, like I said, it kind of just functions as it is. satellites up as you can without them colliding into each other I can't if they're over orbits and uh, it's very fun it features scoreboard uh, music's quite nice and I'm just going to play this for one more time and then get on to the game because uh, when I'm trying to beat my current high score of 10 at the minute really good, I'm just going to read that Kessler problem, that's it. Um, so that's on... If you want to play that yourself, it's... Ludum Dare 42 Kessler problem. And, uh, I really enjoyed that one, it's one of the best I've played so far. Just really well made. Uh, I'm actually going to give it pretty much a 5 to be honest. I really enjoyed it. 
think it matched the fee really well too. Well made and the worst so. the next game I can play read that now. Uh, so we're looking for another game now if you've got any uh, I think there's a few people watching now so if you've got any games of your own that you want me to play just give us a buzz I'm only going to be doing it for another few um, minutes on here uh, another 20 minutes or so for now if I want to just play in headspace or something that's quite interesting So look at this. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so the next one the game I'm playing is called Headspace by J Deck. Uh, it's been rated three times. How can someone rate three three and a half times? <laughs> I don't get that. Halfway through rating something. Uh, okay. So I'll be on this headspace shortly. Just need to extract it, and then I'm probably gonna have to do computer after doing a stupid virus tech. Uh, yeah, my space. Fine. Play. So this is headspace. I'm playing now. Hi, I'm a tree. I go up and down. I go down. I go up and I go down. I'm trying to do my best in this chaotic world. The stress hurts like a thousand cuts, roar and spiky on my surface. All at once, a little calm before the storm hits again. Take a breath and sp press space. Okay. Huh? Oh, alright. Oh, ah! I guess I want these and don't want the spiky ones. Ah. Oh cool. Right, so ah So it's like a ah. I guess it's like a depression metaphor. Nice kind of dark ambient music. Ah. Minimal pulsing. Kind of a bit of spooky vibe to it. Ah. See if it's possible to beat it. So this is built in Unity. Got my developer. Ah. Uh oh. Oh, well, it seems that ah, oh, once you reach a certain point of, there's no way of that oh, shit. There's no way of um. Reducing that the black areas once they start coming in. Just... No. No. So I'm just I'm just gonna talk to generally now while I'm playing this. I've seen um how I've seen the theme being interpreted so far, because I've played a few games, is, I mean, people tend to be taking the maze type of route, which is what I did with my game, or they're doing this kind of thing where it's, uh, the environment collapses in on you, or, and those are the kind of two games that I've seen so far, really, to be honest, like a, you know, like a score like this, where you've got one part of the map which is collapsing in, or, I go over my heart. Right, I'm gonna try a few more times and I'll just rate this one. It's just 
simple game. Music's part of the effects are nice. Mm. It's like a simple idea based on mental health, I suppose. Yeah. Headspace goes to the beginning for you. That's why I kind of clicked it, to be honest. Okay, so you have got. Okay. Ah, shit. Right. Have to be a bit more careful as well. Because you can actually just. I thought it was like on a cell. Ah, it's actually quite a degree of. You can like kind of go through those. Ah! Quite difficult. I mean, I'm finding it difficult. But I'm terrible sometimes at these kind of coordination games. Let's try it. Uh, I'm not sure if I can beat it or if it just goes on and on until you die. I'm not sure. Okay, that was pretty interesting. That was Headspace by what's his, what's the name of the developer? J Deck. Play, and then I'll just call it that for now. So we'll start playing a few because I'm a bit late on getting onto the playing. Uh, so busy all day. What's that? Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's awesome. What's that? Crystal Defender. This looks good. So I'll play this. Has it got a head smell back? Yes, it does. So I'll just put back and play it straight away. This is cool. So next on playing. Abelite Crystal Defender by Since Terry. Uh, it's a team one, so two guy two people. Rai Fi Sinsateri. Uh, just try the headshot five on first. Graphics are cool. Controls, arrow keys, move, space jump. Okay, standard. Look at that, that's nice. The graphics for the menu are nice and customised. Some nice detail, that. Tower info. Mm -hmm. I think I should just get into it and just see how I go along. This is 72 hours, maybe. I think it's made in Unity, I think. Okay, right, so. What do I do? Firewall. So I think I have to defend. Firewall, rotate. I hope it rotates. 360. I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm just kind of guessing at this point. Right, flame tower. Yeah. 
Yes, by camera. Huh? We've got a wave coming soon. I think. <laughs> I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, how do I buy anything else? I can't buy this. Go. Oh, oh cool. I've got a gun. What's going on there? Ah! Ah! The tanks attacking me. Ah! Shh! Uh, there's no sound, which is weird, but. It's strange playing such an action in the game and having no sound. It's kind of. Just, I don't know if that's. I'm not sure if that's intended, but this it's a shame actually because this looks really cool. Oh man, die! Ah, Let's try this again. Buy a cannon. Buy a Let's go. Try a different method. So I've got a cannon to shoot. Yeah, I can just shoot someone. That's good. Cannon's just came even more. Wave complete, next wave. I've got a flame tower. There we go. Let's just take him out here. See if I don't know if I have to now try and get some more. Ah, what the hell? Seems somewhat glitchy. Ah. I don't know if that's just because the HTML5 version. I might. I think I'm going to also try the executable of this as well, just to see if it's got sound. Ah. This, this looks really cool, but the fact that there's no sound is kind of stunting the gameplay experience for me, personally. Even if it's just music, this, this looks like a really cool game, but... I mean, let's be made in 72 hours, it's impressive. As always with these game jam things. Here's now I don't know where what I'm supposed to do next. We want to do it. Ah! Ah! So they destroyed my turret. Oh shit. Oh, why does that keep on happening? People just glitching quite a bit. Shit, the tanks, the tanks, the tanks. I've rather destroy them on turrets. Shoot them not much. They don't do much damage. Mushrooms don't do anything. Ah, those are not getting through. Uh oh, get into my crystal. No! Get him over there, we're going to destroy my crystal. Ah, that font reminds me of Descent. Actually, all the font was. Game called Descent. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be sounds. I'm going to try and. I'm going to try and quickly pay on there. version. That's good they've got an Apple one as well. Uh, okay. So I'm going to call it a day after I played this, just for now. I need to get some breakfast. Some kind of problem on their Windows version. I, I thought so because it's just an executable that you download. It can't. It needs to access data files, so it's not working. That's pretty cool. Um, and it's a little dagger actually. So that's pretty cool. 
Oh, it is. Well, this looks really amazing. Just randomly. I'm going to quickly rate this game. And then I'm going to play this last one because it looks awesome. National Library of Geometric Impossibilities. So let's all look at this. Shelf books in a paradoxical library. Sounds interesting. Uh, so I hope this works. You're just tuning in. I don't know how many people have got on. I'm playing, just about to play uh, the National Library of Geometric Impossibilities, which. I just randomly saw it, it looks quite interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna start playing now. There we go, it's working good. Let's full screen it. What? Okay. Doesn't like me full screen yet. Um Starting to shift to some library. That's cool. I look at that reflection. Nice. Moist. I don't place it. One seven six two. That's here, isn't it? Ah, right, yeah. So what's paradoxical? Oh, so this is in the library. So let's pick up an old book. Fish, 2042, which would be... Let's just go to 2000. Let's just explore this library. Fish. <laughs> See what happens if we do that. I don't die. It's not that. Let me get through here. I can. Uh, oh, it's that. Okay, so it's this here thing. No, it's not, is it? This is it's a thousand. Uh oh, what's up here? Yeah, there we go, it's up here somewhere. So, uh, <laughs> literally being a librarian, I don't understand quite what's paradoxical about it. I'm just literally um, putting books on shelves at the minute. But, I don't know, we'll see. There we go. We'll see how this goes on. Um, so, I'll tell you some initial thoughts. Um, I mean, to be honest, it was the title that drew me into this one. Uh, nice 2.145. Looks like a part of the library. Um just interested to see how this one goes on. Ah, so there's a bit of a maze element to this game. So I've got a well, yeah there is. Oh see so oh cool. Alright, this is where it's let's get interesting I guess. Some puzzles. Four. 
I need to find a nice 2.145. So, starting to get that it's. I want to go into this further a bit now. Now I've got the basics now. Which is good, it's kind of giving you the, the games. Whoa! What? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's confusing. What? <laughs> My brain's just snapped. And she, oh, 4241, that's good. I know that one. 4241. Just remember that, go back here. Okay, this is pretty cool. Let's see. Let's four, two, four, one. There we go. I'm in. I just need to find the right bookshelf now. Okay. So, find the book now. Okay. So, it's, I guess as it as it. As the kind of title suggests, it's all about being a librarian in a paradoxical library. Glue two seven two two. Okay, so we have to find another area. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh one three, one three, one three. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, oh, what's this? This has just appeared. What? The hell? <laughs> oh man, this is so cool, it's fucking fucking with my head now. Okay, so we've got two, that's, no, that's too high, 2,200. We'll have to, I guess we'll have to go down there somewhere. Two, so. <laughs> this is actually really cool. It's inside this room. Oh, what crazy shit's gonna happen in here? Uh, okay, what? This is mind bending to the max. <laughs> I love it. This is brilliant. Uh, it's just <laughs> Can't believe this is made in whatever, 72 hours. What? What just happened? <laughs> Is it this one here? Glue 270, hopefully it is. Yeah. Okay, now I have to go. What the f What is going on now? This is mental. <laughs> I need to go back to the front desk. <laughs> this is being a librarian on acid, really. <laughs> what? Okay, let's fall down here again. Let's get another book. Yeah, one. <laughs> how long how long does it get on for? I'm just curious. Two three point one four. I think I have to get this way down. Yeah, so it kind of shifts the reality to into three. So something here it's down here or somewhere. This just goes on indefinitely, so you can just first, second. Hmm. So we're just tuning in and playing a game called uh, National Library of Geometric Impossibilities, which is a really interesting game where you're a library library keeper, a library librarian, basically. In a paradoxical library full of random puzzles and gemmel trying to confuse you. Uh, I really like this game. Uh, I wish I do. I wish I had a bit more sound. If I was going to say anything, there you go. That's the point of this game is just to find library books basically and explore this large. We really benefit from some sound, and that would just be really easy to add. But. Uh, I'm really impressed with this actually. It's really cool. I'm just enjoying the experience of it. 
I don't know if there's an endpoint to this or if it just goes on indefinitely. So I'll call it a day in a second and then leave this developer rating for this, which is going to be good because I really enjoy it and I think it's, considering it's made in 72 hours, it's bloody awesome. Saying actually, no, um, it becomes less clearer where I think where you're supposed to clip. I mean, I guess it's kind of a point for me, so yeah, I'll be in here somewhere. It is a long way somewhere, maybe in there. I might have to get into that engine, but I don't want that. I need to find the code. around here somewhere I guess. Looks like the one. See if it's the same code as before. It's kind of strange how it's saying left here, but it's not because it's the last book I've placed. Okay, I'm going to call it a day. Oh, you can't have to full screen. Okay, let's get to that. Let's see if I can find this code. I'm going kind to of stubborn. I've been stubbornly wanting to find it now. Oh, same thing again. Four, two, four, one. Four, four. I don't think it works. That's a free code. Oh, I randomly just guessed it. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we get it in here. If it's not in here, I don't know what to do. Oh, okay. I just guessed that code. <laughs> I think there's probably another way to do it, but I just guessed it that time. Uh, if you're just tuning in, I'm playing uh, what's the Library of Geometric Impossibilities, which is you're basically a librarian stuck in a paradoxical library, and you have to uh, stock books up on shelves, but there's lots of puzzles, and the library kind of basically plays tricks on you to put up my name. So, it's a pretty interesting game, so yeah, yeah, so like for example if I just click here, I'm on the second floor now, that's the first floor, but it's just a random, like trio point as it were, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, 2.598, uh, okay, so I'm on, no, yeah, this is, oh, okay, it's not this I think there's another floor, so I just have to find that. Why are we going to the third floor again? Okay, 
this way. Yeah. Blep is the title I'm looking for. As well as the title I have in my hand, even. Blep. Blep. I need to get up there. How do I get up there again? But yeah, this is really uh, it's a mint game. Uh, I don't know if it reaches an end point or if it just goes on indefinitely. It, um, so far, I've, there might be a few there, I suppose. I think it's really good. Um, I'm not really sure on that. Uh, I need to get into the higher area because this isn't. I'm just seeing if I can get through to another bunch of bookshelves through here. I don't think I can actually. So I'm after 2598. Which looks like it's up there. I don't know how to get up there. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, I wish, we could, like I said, we could if this game had sound. I know I'm just repeating myself now, but I just thought I might as well. I've just suddenly got a lot more viewers, which is nice. Uh, let's try through here to look. Because this is. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of very impressed that someone made this in 72 hours. It's, uh, oh, look at that. that looks like, is that some reflection or? Yeah, it's just a reflection, but. I wasn't sure if that was another area down there. I was so impressed that someone's made this in 72 hours because. I mean, apart from the sound, the only thing I could really criticise this game about is the sound. It's like, the rest of it's... Um, it's, it's really original. It fits the theme very well. I mean, it's how it's... It's not actually buggy, as far as I can tell. There's like a few minor glitchy things, which are very minor, but apart from that, it's... There's nothing really gameplay ruining. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to rate this game now because I think we've got a general idea. But, um, that's really cool. So, that was the National. I'm going to stop playing now. So, that was the National Library of Geometric Impossibilities, which has received f just under four votes, which is mental because it's definitely easily one of the best games we've played so far. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. Really f fit the theme well. Graphics nice. What they're doing. Audio is any. I think audio is any area that one really slipped up on. To be honest, um, they would have done some music. There's a bit of kind of dry humour in it, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna switch off for an hour, but now I might stream a bit more later on. But um, for now, I just need to chill, get some coffee, and uh, have a break for it. If you're watching, cheers. Uh, we're playing a bit, a few more games later on in a bit.